Good morning. Happy Easter. What a great day for us as Christians to celebrate together. What a wonderful morning we have together. We may not all be in the same room or in the same building, but you know what? We can still celebrate together. So first off, I'm going to rewind just a little bit from last week. Last week, we talked about Palm Sunday, where Jesus entered Jerusalem on the donkey. All the people were so excited. They lined the streets. They said, Hosanna, Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. They were so excited. And then Jesus and the disciples attended Passover. Do you remember what Passover was? You're right. It was a big party and celebration where they all had together. So Jesus and his disciples went to have a supper together. And that's where Jesus washed his disciples' feet. And Jesus did that to show them that he was no better than they were. And they were no better than he was. God created all of us equal. And after that, they all sat down to a big meal. It was called the Last Supper. That's when Jesus told the disciples what was happening, that he was going to die on the cross and come back. And he also blessed the bread and blessed the wine and they shared it. And he told them to do it as often as they want to, but remember him. Do you know what that's called? You're right, communion. It's what we do in church once a month. You're so right, yay. Then after that, Jesus and his disciples went to the garden. Do you remember the name of the garden? Gethsemane. Gethsemane. That's where Jesus prayed. And he told the disciples, stay awake. Don't fall asleep and be on guard. Well, what did the disciples do? You're right. And then finally, the guards came. They arrested Jesus. They did mean things to him. They put him on the cross to die. And he did. So after that, they buried him in a giant tomb. And they put this big, big rock in front of it so that no one could go in or go out. And they also put two guards in front. Well, on Sunday morning, the beginning of the following week, Mary and Mary Magdalene went to go visit the tomb. They had taken the spices that they had prepared. And when they got there, there was a giant earthquake. The ground shook. And the guards that were in front of that tomb were so scared, they fell over like they were dead. They were just scared to death. But the rock had been moved away. So Mary and Mary Magdalene, they looked inside. Everybody look inside. They didn't see anything. What? Where did Jesus go? So cup your hands like this. See how I cut my hands, but close it, okay? Now open it up. What do you see? Nothing. Okay, do it one more time. Close it up. Open your hands. What's there? Nothing. That is exactly what Mary and Mary Magdalene saw when they looked inside that tomb. Nothing. Then all of a sudden, two angels appeared. These angels had white, dazzling, bright clothes on. It was so bright. Cover your eyes. Cover your eyes. They couldn't look at it. Have you ever looked up at the sun and it's so bright your eyes kind of close because it's so bright? It was bright and dazzling. The women were terrified. And the angel said, do not be afraid. It's okay. Jesus is not here. And the angel asked him, why are you looking somewhere where the dead are? Because remember, the tomb is where they put the dead body when it's gone. They said, the, angel, the angels told Mary, he's not here. He's risen. Go and tell the disciples. So the ladies went and they ran just as fast as they could run. Run, run, run. Actually, stand up. I want you to run in place. Don't run around your house. Just run in place. You ready? 
Run, in place, run faster and faster and faster. Okay, stop, sit down. So the ladies did this. They ran just as fast as they could to go tell the good news. When they got there, the disciples listened. They weren't really sure whether to believe him or not, but they did. So, you know, God sent his son, Jesus, for you and for me. He died for us. He has risen for us. He's done all that because he loves us. He loves us so very, very much. Um, this week, I want you to take some time and think about how awesome it is that God loves you this much. I also want you to think, um, what would it, what would you be like if you were one of those women? Would you be scared? Would you be worried? Would you just have ran away? I don't know. I'd be a little bit scared probably. And I want you to take a walk sometime this week. Look around, find things that you see that are alive and enjoy. You guys have a happy Easter. I hope you have a wonderful week this week. Send me some pictures of what's going on in your lives. I really do miss all of you so much. So let's pray. God, I thank you for this day and I thank you so much that you sent your son to, uh, to die for us, to forgive us for our sins and to love us every single day. Lord, be with my families, be with all my friends, um, that they have a good week this week. They're successful with their schoolwork. Um, and they're good for mom and dad. Your name we pray. Amen. One last thing. Jesus's tomb was empty because he didn't stay there. He's alive and he is with us today. See y'all soon.